here with us on Overdrive. Now, recently TVS invited us to their test track in Hosur to test their second electric scooter, the TVS X, which aims to revolutionize the performance electric scooter space. Now, we barely got 15 minutes with this scooter, but here's what Rohit had to say about it. Hikeube is one of the most practical e-scooters in the Indian market, selling more than 2 lakh units already and helping TVS reach a market share of 23% in the Indian e-scooter space. Now TVS is upping the game with the X. It's larger than the TVS iCube. It looks sportier with all these sharp body panels and of course that big frame that you see right here. It's got a huge battery pack. It's also got a huge infotainment screen. So performance, connectivity, looks, it promises everything. So is this the ideal scooter to buy if you are looking for an electric in the performance segment? Getting to the core of the matter, the TVS X is equipped with a 4.4 kilowatt hour battery pack, an evolution of the iCube's battery. But why does it still offer lesser range? Well, because it's all about priorities. The TVS X prioritizes performance over outright range to go with its sporty intent. And that's the reason why the range takes a hit. The other reason is the weight. It's 124 kilos, which makes it one of the heaviest in its category. With three ride modes for economical, normal and sporty riding, you can enjoy top speeds of up to 50, 70 and 105 kilometers an hour respectively. Even the stealth or the eco mode feels brisk, unlike some of its competitors, but struggles on inclines. Charging is where the TVS X shines further because it also supports 3 kilowatt fast charging. That charger, however, is around 16,000 rupees, give or take, which I don't think is worth it. Unless, of course, you have 70, 80 kilometers of commute a day, you are in an extra urban kind of a riding cycle, then it might just make sense for you. Otherwise, with a 95 kilometer range, your usual commutes are going to be taken care of just fine. So the regular, the standard 3-pin plug with its 4.5 charging time should be okay. The TVS X has a sporty look with sharp body panels, stylish lighting and a unique twin spa aluminium frame. Surprisingly, the TVS X appears larger than its dimensions suggest with a convenient seat height of 770mm. That front seat height might sound low to you, but even for taller riders, taller than my height of 5 feet 8, ergonomics are not a problem at all. In fact, you can see he is over 6 feet tall, his knees are nowhere close to the apron or close to the handlebars. So, ergonomics are completely sorted. In fact, the front seat is so long that it even gives you enough room to move around and get a comfortable seating posture. Even the rear seat, nice and wide, a little tall but not too tall. So, even for your family, it's not going to be bad at all. The TVS X features a split seat setup, but it isn't customizable like the Vida V1. However, it offers a superior build quality and a sportier design. Boasting 175mm of ground clearance, the TVS X should handle rough roads well, but with a slightly firmer ride. The side mounted monoshock doesn't hamper handling. The X comes with specially developed low resistance single compound Euro grip tyres that offer decent grip and are the sole tyre option available currently. Tech savvy riders or riders who believe why should car guys have all the fun with the infotainment systems, they are going to absolutely love this colossal 10.25 inch screen and can also tilt it to your likings. Now the other bit with these kind of screens that I do not like with a lot of new electric vehicles is that the locking mechanism is usually tied into these screens, right? You can lock, unlock from the screen or using a cell phone or using your watch etc which the TVS allows you, good functionality. But what happens if you have kept the scooter without charging for a really really long time which by the way for this scooter is around 100 days but if it takes longer than that say 6 months for some reason you are unable to charge the scooter and when you come back and try to unlock them nothing works because the system simply doesn't work there is no juice left right which is why TVS is also going to be providing an NFC card which will essentially allow you to at least open the charging socket so you can at least get the charging. The X features an 11 kilowatt motor one of the most powerful in its segment. 
The TVS X reminds me of the Yamaha Aerox in many ways, like its motorcycle-like stability through the bends or even this frame which allows you to have a much more aggressive body positioning compared to the regular scooters which don't get this. Of course, you will not be able to put a cylinder in here because of the frame but that's not the intent. And where it really differentiates itself from the Aerox is the kind of power delivery that it gives you. With that electric motor, it's much smoother. The power delivery is much more linear. And electric motors are known for their instantaneous torque, right? But despite that, the power delivery is nice and smooth. You can exit the corner, you can get on the power a lot earlier and a lot harder and with a lot more confidence. And still the scooter doesn't lose its way very easily. The safety features include a single channel ABS, which is a segment first, hill hold and the TVS Smart Shield system. There's no denying that the TVS X comes at a hefty price tag, but it also covers new ground in terms of performance, handling, connectivity, etc. At the same time, it builds on that proven TVS reliability of its new electric powertrain, something that we've already sampled with the iCube and are quite happy about. So the experience of owning an even bigger and an even more powerful TVS electric should be a stress-free one. That's it then from us on this week's edition of Overdrive. But remember, you can stay in touch with the team through our various social media platforms and you can write to us on YouTube as well. Before we wrap up though, once again, let me wish you all a very happy Diwali. Just ride and drive safe.